This morning, I came across this article that really made me so angry. I mean, I have not felt this angry in a long time. I felt it in my heart. I had to ask the Lord. I asked the Lord to forgive me, created me a clean heart because it's hard for me to forgive someone that kills, that beat up and kills an innocent person, let alone an innocent black person. Because we're so used to white cops killing and beating, beating and killing innocent black people. But in this case, it was five Memphis cops, black cops, that beat up a black man, an innocent black man for that matter. They knew good and dog on well that that man was innocent didn't have anything to do with anything and now he's gone I remember this story he died on January 7th 2023 I did a few stories about this because it just broke my heart now the truth is coming out from one of the officers that's on the stand that took the stand on Tuesday we're going to talk about it like I said before I don't know if I mentioned it but it made me so mad that I had to put the phone down. The article made me so mad that I had to put the phone down. Well, I got to go pick it up. So let me go and fetch my article and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, okay. I can tell that they all scared of revolution. They ain't even trying to find out a resolution. I'm talking heal the body, free the mind, evolution. They don't really understand, man. They never do it. They acting all stupid. So yes, according to this article on NBCnews.com, a disgraced former Memphis police officer cried on the stand Tuesday as he watched the video of him and his former colleagues giving Tyree Nichols the brutal beating that led to his death. Desmond Mills Jr., who was testifying at the trial of three other former officers, became overcome with grief when he was confronted with video of him drawing his police baton and telling, and telling the other officers near Nichols to, quote, watch out, unquote. Watch out, he said. He like moving them out of the way so he can get his licks in. This is really sad. Really sad. The article continues. I pulled my baton out and hit Mr. Nichols three times, Mills testified. Then he broke down in tears as the body camera video appeared to show former officers to Darius Bean, Justin Smith, Emmett Martin III, punching and kicking the grown in Memphis, who was 29. He said, I wish I could stop the punches. It hurts to watch. It hurts inside so much. Well, we didn't think about that when he was beating him. I guess not. He was weeping real bad on the stand. He said, I made his child fatherless, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why can't they think about these things before... They do it. I mean, I know we all do some stupid stupid things sometimes and we don't think about things before we do it. But these are police officers and these are people's lives that they are messing with. This is unbelievable. What is up, y'all? You're listening to B Sparrow. On Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. The article continues. It says Nichols, who was the father of a young son, died three days after the beating in January of 2023, which was caught on police cameras and reignited calls for police reform nationwide after the video was made public. 
Mills' jarring and emotional testimony came during the trial of Bean, Smith, and Demetrius Haley. All three have pleaded not guilty to federal charges that they deprived Nichols of his rights through excessive force and failure to intervene and that they obstructed justice through witness tampering. Mills and Martin have pleaded guilty to federal charges. The five officers were members of a crime suppression team called the Scorpion Unit, which was disbanded after Nichols' death. Like Nichols, who died in a hospital on January 10, 2023, all the ex-officers are black. They were fired for violating police department policies. Mills testified that he became incensed after his first encounter with Nichols because he had inadvertently sprayed himself with pepper spray. He said he never gave Nichols a chance to comply with his orders before he started beating him. Then, why did you say, give me your hands? The prosecutor, Forrest Christian, asked him while on the stand. And he said to make it look better, even though it wasn't better. Mm. Last week, Martin testified that he initiated the bogus reckless driving traffic stop of Nichols. You remember they pulled him over claiming a traffic. He did something. I don't know what they, I, I can't remember what they said he did. But they pulled him over for a traffic stop. He ended up dead three days later. Martin told the court that it was his first week back on the job after he had been um, off for about six weeks recuperating from a work injury. He said he was nervous and itching to make an arrest. Not only did you make an arrest, sir, but you was part of a murder. You killed somebody. Nicholas Martin testified, never posed a threat when they yanked him out of the car. Did you hear me? They said, this article said Nicholas did not pose a threat. Tyree Nichols did not pose a threat to anybody when they pulled him out of the car. Even so, the article continues, Martin said, Haley pepper sprayed Nichols, who took off running. He said, having to chase Nichols infuriated him. He took off running because he was afraid for his life. He didn't know what was going on. Y'all just stopped him and pulled him over for nothing. And now he's dead. He's gone. Martin testified that he punched Nichols at least five times and kicked him four times. Then, Martin said, he removed his body camera, stood by, and watched Smith and Bean pound the helpless man. He said he didn't want it to show what he was doing. He didn't want it to show what he was doing or what they were doing even. He said he did not intervene with Mills. He did not intervene when Mills began hitting Nichols with a baton. Later, Martin said he lied to a supervisor that Nichols was high and had thrown a punch at him. He said it was standard for members of the anti-violence team to keep quiet about using force. I don't even know what to say. Now y'all see why I put the phone down because I was pissed off to the point of pissivity. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? Well, all right. I can tell that they all scared of revolution. They ain't even trying to find out a resolution. I'm talking heal the body, free the mind, evolution. They don't really understand, man. They never do it.